The Indiana State Department of Health declares a public health emergency in Monroe County, opening the way for a needle exchange program for the fourth in our state. This one, though, will be run a little differently. The Now's Ann Kelly explains. It's different because here in Monroe County, the Public Health Department won't be running this needle exchange on its own. It is actually partnered up with the Indiana Recovery Alliance. Now, already right now, every week, it is out in this van, this truck, offering services to the community. Everything from warm blankets to HIV testing. It is already out there talking with people in need. And now, because of this approval, it will be also offering syringes come likely next month. And here in Monroe County, a public health emergency being declared, by the way, not because of HIV, but because of hepatitis C, which is on the rise. A few years ago, there were just 100 cases a year. Last year, there were nearly 140. Add to that the fact that hepatitis C rises are usually accompanied with a rise in HIV cases, and it's clear the Indiana Recovery Alliance says the needle exchange is needed. Adding this piece to a harm reduction program is really going to be a game changer uh, for infectious disease, for trips to the emergency room for access into treatment, for access into health insurance. It's going to make a huge difference in people's lives. A big help for Monroe County. And again, this is the van that will be leading the charge, the truck that will be offering that needle exchange program starting in early January. Reporting in Monroe County for the now Indy and Kelly, RTV6. And thank you. And right now, three other Indiana counties, Scott, Madison, and Fayette, have been approved to offer a needle exchange program. Clark County has sent the state a request, which right now is being reviewed.